Now let's take a look at a couple of enhancements that have been made to the multi-leaders command and functionality. And first let's take a look at uh, a couple of additions to the multi-leader manager dialog box. So if I select my style and go to modify, the main changes that we see are on the content tab. Uh, first of all, if I select the type of multi-leader set to be a block, I now have an option to set the scale for that block when I insert it. If I go back to the mText type of multi-leader, um, I also now have the ability under my text style to go ahead and select and pull up the text style dialog, the editor, uh, which allows me to, to edit or create a new text style without having to exit out of the multi-leader style dialog. Finally, we now have an option to add a vertical attachment to the multi-leader. Now, this doesn't mean that the text is vertical but that the attachment points can either be above or below the M text, uh, depending on which way uh, the leader arrow goes, either above or below the text. And I can also include an underline to that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set it for vertical uh, attachment with an attachment to the center for both. And I'll just OK out of this dialog. Now let's say I want to go over here and label these sewer manholes on the east side of my property. I'm going to go ahead and go to the leaders panel and select the multi-leader command and I'm going to uh, add a multi-leader to go ahead and select the first one and then I'm going to go ahead and just type in Put my cap locks on and just label that existing manholes. And I'll move that over here out of the way. So you see now that my attachment for my leader is a vertical one and it's above um, the uh, text object. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of leaders here. And you'll see here, in this case, when I label this below the text, it placed the leader attachment underneath the text here. Well, now that I have my leader in there, I now have a couple of options that allow me to edit uh, this particular multi-leader. Um, first of all, I have the option now of editing individual components of the multi-leader. So if I wanted to maybe change the color of a couple of these leaders, uh, rather than selecting the entire uh, multi-leader, I can select individual components by holding down my control key and then uh, maybe go to properties and I'll change the multi-leader leaders uh, to blue and uh, you know maybe even change the line type to uh, something different as well. So this again is uh, giving you a little more control over the display uh, of your particular leaders or any component of a multi-leader. Um, also now uh, I can resize my um, mText box um, just like we've done before with, multi with uh, mText. Uh, so uh, at any point if I want to make any changes to that it functions uh, so much just like mText. Um, so again, we've kind of made this existing uh, command a little more powerful and a little more flexible, and that's always a good thing.